Am I up? Hello? Hello, come to why? Wait, I need to use my phone to link it. Uh, I don't know how do I look like. Oh my goodness. Where am I? Okay, here. Hello, Dante Wong. Wait, um, use this one. Actually, okay, where are we? Oh, wait, one more second. Oh my god, how do you make it? Mm? Oh, here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so here we are. So long time no see. So today I'm thinking about uh, lots of students told me that oh they want to learn Chinese or learn Cantonese, but they think the Chinese character is really difficult. But for me, I was like, oh, it's actually it's not that difficult. So I'm going to uh, give you some reason and also teach you some uh, characters today. Um, I hope you will enjoy the class. Um, so if you have any question, just um, leave a comment below and um, let's start it. Okay. Um, actually, this one, I will not just post it on my live stream. Maybe I will just save this video and then I will um, add the video and then repost it on our YouTube again. So now let's see what are we going to learn today um, i didn't promote a lot this time okay where are we okay here let me here so today do you see my screen actually or could you hear my voice? Wait, I need to check. Uh, could you see my scream about this light? It seems like you can't, right? Wait, um, need to do something first. Maybe I'll try again. And then, um, just sorry, I need to change something. Oh my god, where are we? No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. What should I do? I'm not here. Ay, yeah. I don't know how to change it. Oh, gosh. So you could see my screen about the slide, but you can't see the slide for that one, right? Oh yeah, maybe we do it now. Let's try. No, 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 no. Oh, never mind. Never mind. So we are going to. 
So we are going to learn this one, uh, the Chinese characters in Cantonese sounds. Actually, that is Sue, Margaret, and I are working on about like teaching you some uh, Chinese character in Cantonese pronunciation. Uh, I think this one is uh, like legit. It's not everyone can learn from uh, other place, and it's quite important if you live in Hong Kong. And what's more, if you just want to learn Cantonese, but you don't want to learn Mandarin, then you should uh, like try to learn some Chinese characters. Mm. Actually, I don't know why I cannot show it to you. Okay, so first, let's go into learn if this first characters. So weird. I really want to like uh, to s scream, share my scream, but you can only see this page. Oh gosh, I really want to figure it out. Please give me one more second because it's quite important. Oh my god. Mm, this one. Oh my god, we need to delete lots of stuff first. Sorry, I should be well prepared, but I just, uh, I just don't, I didn't announce for this uh, live stream at, as well. Oh my god, this one. Mm. Why it didn't work? So weird. Uh, let me do one more time. Okay. Maybe this one. Oh, I know how it works now. But it looks so stupid. I look so stupid if I do it this way. Okay. Mm. Mm. Up. Okay. Okay, let's just do it. Oh, thank you. You love my channel. It's very really information, matic and helpful. Thanks for your watching. Actually, I, I have lots of ideas, but I still don't have time. Oh, lately I'm trying to move out, so I look for another place. So it makes me so lazy to do my teaching stuff. So I hope you can understand. Okay, so uh, let's try again. So today we are going to learn uh, this one. Um, to learn the Chinese characters in Cantonese pronunciation, which is Sue and I are working with. Um, yeah, today's title is Gong, Gong, Zhongmen. So trying to talk about the Chinese. So talk about Chinese, the Zhong. So do you know that there was one thing is the reason why I think Chinese character is not difficult is they have lots of clues. First one is we have the visual clue. So for example, look at this character. So this character, you will find that it's like a circle and there is a stick and some flag between it. This one is our Zhong, Zhong, like China is Zhongguo, right? Zhongguo. 
uh, here because some student you must learn uh, you paint or some student you learn Yale so it's okay because uh, in our course we will provide two pronunciation a two way for you to uh, read the you paint read the pronunciation so like uh, you paint or yell is okay so this one plants jong jong yeah so these two characters are very really vivid right so you could guess uh it's like right now here is the mouse and then you separate them so uh like in half so it will be middle middle it means middle Okay, so this one, zhong, it means middle or center. For example, this one is very important. Our China is zhong guo, zhong guo, guo, it means country. So zhong guo means China. Mm, zhong guo, you could say like zhong guo is the middle country, middle country. Which Chinese, what do you mean that, Susan, what do you mean like which Chinese? So yeah, that is Zhongguo. So for like Chinese person, we will say Zhongguo people, right? People is Yan. Zhongguo Yan. Uh, so it's Chinese people. It's Zhongguo Yan. Mm. Uh, and then for us, what we are learning right now, we could all uh, call them generally is Chinese language is Zhong man, Zhong man, man literally means like language and also means um, like culture as well. So Zhong man, it means Chinese language, Chinese language, Zhong man. Make sure Cantonese not Mandarin. Yeah, right now we are learning the Chinese character in Cantonese pronunciation. Yeah, actually you could if you listen some Mandarin saying, you will know that uh, the pronunciation is totally different. For example, let, let me try, okay? For this character, Zhong, in Mandarin is Zhong, Zhong. So it sounds different. So we are not talking about Mandarin pronunciation. We're talking about the Cantonese pronunciation today, okay? Mm. And then next one is this one. So maybe on the street, you will find this character. This uh, this character, like this, very difficult for you to. Oh, it's very diff difficult, right? So let's see this character. We have Ji. Ji it means son, child, children. Ah, uh, so this one is like they they have a rooftop and cover some kids there. So actually, it's our school. Ah, uh, so this is Ha. So Zhong Ha, Zhong Ha, some school, and it's middle. So yes, it means middle school. Uh, quite easy for you to guess what that means. So that is zhong ha, zhong ha. Okay, so that that character, that character we will learn it on our lesson one. So that is about zhong, zhong. Okay, so next time I don't want people to ask me oh how to say in Chinese and you still don't know how to say Chinese. Okay, that is zhong man. Zhong man dim gong. Ah, there's two pronunciation for this man. It's man, raising tone, or man. Ah, zhong man, or zhong man. Ah, so this one, I want to tell you the Chinese character, we will have the virtual clue for you. Ah, like this one, zhong. Mm. So we have more this kind of clue. Uh, beside zhong, and we still have this one. So this character, you it looks like the sun, right? Uh, it looks like the sun. So it's like in lesson one, we will learn this character is, do you know this character? If you know this character, you could try to type this character on screen, on, on the chat room, so that I know that you have seen this character before. Oh, there was someone coming. Hello, welcome to our live stream today. I'm sorry, everything is not set up so, uh, so, so, so well, settled down so well. Oh, I, I need to share this one. 
Yeah, that one is yet, right? Is yet. Oh, it seems like Jeffrey tried to type it in uh, the yell as well. Mm, yeah, this is yet our son. Mm, so you will find that um, before some people look at the sun like this, right? And then it seems like something on the dot like this. So sooner or later, after thousands of years, our character turns like this. Uh, it's like the the dots become to a straw. Okay, so that is our sun. Yet, yet. So for example, we say gam yet. Uh, we will say uh, this yet, yet. So yet literally means like t uh, like sun and day as well. Gam yet today. Yet, yet every day, right? Mu yet every day. Mm. Okay. So what about this character? But this this one is the moon, right? Moon. So this one, it turns into like this after thousand years later. So in the past, our ancestor look at the moon. Oh, it's like this. It's like a banana, right? And then they add some straw between it. And then after thousand years, it become like this. Mm, this character, it plants what? Do you know? Do you know how to pronounce this character? Maybe you could see that this uh, Yat and Yu on your calendar. If you have the Chinese calendar, you will see this one. Anyone? Do you know? Oh, we are lagging. So maybe I can't see your, see your answer. Quickly. So this one is Yu. Yu is moon or month. Uh, do you know that how to say uh, January, February, March, this kind of um, month? Do you know how to say it? Yeah, it plants Yu. Mm. So it's quite easy. Uh, actually, remember the month in English is the difficult things for Chinese students. So, but our for our Chinese. The, uh, the month is quite easy. You just put it in the first month, second month, it's okay. For example, January is the first month. We say yet yu, yet yu. So right now it's March. Do you know how to say March? Do you know how to say March? Oh, right. I can't type it. March. Do you know how to say March? I'll wait for your answer. I will wait for your answer. Let me share our link to somebody verse to Sue. Let me see if Sue is here. Okay, so do you know how to say much? Yeah, some you right some you yeah, so could you say so could you say the date of today? Maybe in your Canada it will write in this way Some you today is what? Uh, 19 right? Sub gao yeah so you will find that after you learn these two character, you will not miss the flight or miss the the schedule in Chinese. So this Yat and Yu is really important. So that's how it shows that a Chinese character, you could guess what that mean. It's quite vivid. Okay. Mm. So that is the first thing. Second, so for Chinese, uh, they are quite logic. They're quite large. It has the logical structure. So then we are talking about first. We are talking about this one. So this one, uh, is the rock, right? It's the soil. It's the rock. So it's like this character. This character or radical is tou tou. Ah, uh, this radical. Every time you see it, 
then you will think this one is related to soil, dust, and then the field as well. Okay, so like what? Like lesson five, we will learn this one. Could you guess what this character mean? Or anyone do you know what this character referred to? I'm waiting for your answer all the time. Maybe I will wait for you. Why I wait for you? I just uh, promote promote it to in my Instagram. Do you know this this one? The middle one. What's this character? Oh, you know a lot. <laughs> Dante, Dante, you not you know a lot is cho right? Cho. Mm. Oh, you pronounce it jo right? Jo. Yeah. Uh, this one it has two pronunciation. Cho or jo. So mostly for basic for a beginner, I will just tell you it just one has one pronunciation. It means cho. Like sit down, cho dai, cho dai, sit down. And then um, if you take a bike, but if you take a car, it's cho che, cho che. And yeah, also we could say dap che. So when will we pronounce of jo? For example, right now um, it's quite popular to have the meditation right the meditation it would be like sit there very quiet so quiet is zing so zing jo zing jo we will not pronounce of zing cho here okay so and then for loss of um the four how do you say that four characters four characters um saying like sing yu we will use Jo like jo la but on jo la but on something like that. So for beginner, just remember it also it only has one pronunciation. I don't want to make you feel confusing. Okay, so this one is cho, cho. Mm. So for example, cho it means sit. So look at this character. Look at this character is quite vivid. So we will see that, uh, it has two person. They're sitting on the ground. They're sitting on the field, sitting on the dust. It means sit. You see, on these two, uh, on in this character, you feel that you see that there is two pe person, right? They're sitting on this one, the rock, or the soil, or the dust, right? Mm. So this one it means uh cho, cho sit. So for example, this one is what. This character is quite vivid as well. You can see that this these things on the middle is like the window, right? And then uh, this one actually is our car. Think about these things is like our uh, cargo, the cargo in the past. Okay, so this character is cha cha che, cha che. This is che che. Sometimes it will pronounce of go. Uh, when you play the Chinese chess, I love to play Chinese chess. If you would like to know more, maybe I will teach you in the future about playing the Chinese chess. Okay, so that one is about lesson five. We will learn this one, and then what's more, we have this character. Do you know what's this character about? Refer to, or how to pronounce? Any clue? Just leave, leave your answer on the chat room, okay? So that I know that you know something, don't know something. Okay. Why I cannot find that? Oh gosh.
stay, you get stay, right? You guess it means place. Yeah, they could mean place and also field. So let's try to analyze this character first. So first, we will see that oh, this is our ground, right? Our uh, it means dust soil, so it has some grass there, and then uh, actually this kind of picture is I draw it. Okay, so you see that there is lots of what's that? This lake. Right, it's lake. So actually, this character you can see that um, actually it's yeah. It has another pronunciation as well. But the character here um, is in the past. It means this lake. You know that uh, in the past, these lakes are everywhere uh, in the in the maybe in the forest, right, on the ground. So that's why we will have the lake size there. Like uh, it looks like lake. Okay, it doesn't mean that this character is like okay so uh this one this whole character is a uh, day day ground uh, ground uh hello sue margaret is here oh you're saying about ya yeah. jeffrey say this is ya yeah. yeah the right side is ya yeah. the right side is ya yeah. but um the in the past, I mean in the past, uh, this character, it means the right side, it means this lake, it's lake. But it doesn't mean that right nowadays it's still like this. I draw this kind of picture is to help you to remember the characters. Uh, if you look at the dictionary, they will separate two parts for you and tell you which part means what, which part means what. But um, for me, I'm saying you don't have to remember it. You don't have to analyze every character, but you, but if you are confused, you could try to let you to uh, associate this picture into the character. Okay. Mm. Hello, Hayden. Hayden, right? Hello, Rano. Oh, you really enjoy this light, light screen, uh, light streams. Yes, I know. But I'm so nervous because normally when I have class, it's more like. I have students in front of me, but right now I was like, it's like just me talking about this. I don't know. So please leave a comment so that I know you are here and you enjoy this class and I'm not talking too much. Okay, so let's go back to this character again. So this one is day, day, right? So um, maybe you will say, oh, Gary, I watch lots of video. We could find this character, but no, I guess you didn't find this character. You maybe most you will find this character with the mouse reticle next to it. So it's they, for example, we, we, they, they, right? So maybe lots of time you see this day. Mm. Okay, they. So, um, if there is no question, let's go ahead. So for example, uh, if you live in Hong Kong, or live in China, you must see these two characters a lot. So let's see this one is they teeth, they teeth subway, subway. Mm. So let's see this one. We will find that this reticle referred to the metal, the metal, the gold as well. You know, the subway they are made by the mad metal right metal or metal please forgive me my english is broken right now once when i live here okay so i guess you know what i mean so that is day t mm, day t okay so there are more radicals um not only just what i show there we have like 200 more radicals about it but i could tell you don't be so scared like oh my god there is lots of radicals i have to remember all of them to be honest i sometimes i can't judge which one is radical as well so like like this stuff is very like 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 um this stuff like this stuff they are not so common okay so actually we only have few common radical and sometimes the radical in the past, maybe the radical means something, but nowadays the radical, it doesn't mean lots of stuff. 
And you know, after thousands of years, our character change a lot. So we try to simplify it a lot as well. So you don't have to be so scared if you see this. There are so much radicals. Okay, so it's okay. It's okay. Just um, you could just um, learn it little by little every day. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, if you want to learn more radical stuff, you go to our uh, our course as well. And uh, on our course, we will try to help you to analyze the characters one by one and help you to remember the radicals meaning as well. Mm. Okay, or maybe in the future, if you like don't have time to have a course, have a and then we could, I will teach you on my YouTube as well. But I I can't I I can't guarantee when I will post it. Okay, so next one. So we will also have the pronunciation clue to let you to read those characters, but you have to learn some basic character first. For example, let's see this character. Did everyone know that was this character? How to read this character? Actually, we see this character a lot. If you like learn Cantonese a lot. Uh, by my video or others' video, you must see this character a lot. And also, uh, is also um, a a brand, a famous brand of the soda water, the soda soda drink. Yeah, that's Hall. Hello, twelve, right? Ho yi, right? This one is plants ho, right? Ho. Oh, why I say that this is a a famous, popular brand brand as well. You know that for the Coca Cola, Coca Cola company in Chinese is ho lo, ho hao ho lo, ho hao ho lo. Hmm. The ho lo, uh, I think once when they come to China and translate it is quite good. Because ho is means like can, ah,、uh, you get the permission on something, is this ho right? And then ho lo lo it means happy. So ho lo, yeah, I believe that Coke will bring you happy if you feel sad, because they have a lots of sugar inside, right? Hmm. So this one, if you still ah、uh, confused about this ho yi, you could watch this ah、uh, video. Okay, you could check this video. Uh, it's about can, ho yi, ho yi. So let's go back to here about this pronunciation clue. So once when you know this one, we see this one a lot. It's ho, right? Ho. So now, oh my goodness, <laughs> I shouldn't give you this hint. Okay. So once when you um block this one first. Ah, I want to block this one. Never mind. Never mind. Oh,、uh, you have already seen this one. Okay, so once when you see right now, if we put another radical less to it, so these three radical. Do everyone know that these three radical related to what? Is referred to what? Yeah, that is Coca Cola. You can see this hollow on the, on the can or on the bottle, right? Do anyone know these three dot, uh, re refer to what? This is a kind of radical. It's referred to what? Do you know that? I think this one is quite easy because it's really basic. If you know some Chinese, you will know that. Yes, it means water. Yeah, it means water. So next time, if you see these three dots, ah,、uh, it's related to water. Okay, one more thing. Some student, uh, no matter as my Mandarin learning student or uh Cantonese learning student, sometimes they will write this character like this. They will write this radical like this. No, look at it. This one is to up. Okay, so down, down, up. Okay, it's different. So this one, 
if you see this radical in the future is related to water is it related to water so let's see this one so this character is still plants of ho ho uh, this is ho ho this is ho the fourth tone so you will find that once when you know some basic character even though it's quite difficult it right now it adds few characters or or it adds something down or uh, less to it or behind it okay it's okay because you could guess how to read this one for me i i don't know lots of character as well but for for lots of chinese okay not only me and but you could guess how to pronounce it and then if you don't know the meaning then you could look for it for for internet or what because sometimes our chinese character is combined by this uh, by two characters our chinese words are combined by two characters okay so you guess what's that mean ah uh, okay so here um this one a plants hall so do you know what hall means it's related to water so this one have you seen this character hall I think there was a really famous uh, Chinese river. Oh, I just I shouldn't tell you. <laughs> In China, it has this character Ho. Hello, Edwin. Hello, everyone. Thanks for your coming. I know that this live stream just started quite like in the sudden, so I'm glad that to see you here. Okay, everyone. Do you know this one? Ho. It means what? We are talking about Yu Ho later. Mm. Do you know this one? I actually, I'm one. I want to tell you this one. It means water. It means river. Sorry, it means river. River. The Chinese um famous river is Wang Ho. Wang Ho. Wang. It means yellow. The yellow river, right? Wang Ho. Mm, it's quite famous. It's quite famous. Okay, so this one is ha. It's ha. So with the sam dim shui, with this sam dim shui radical, so this one plus ha, four tone, and refer to river. Mm, river. Then I could tell you that the radical mostly it will give you the meaning, and the one which is uh, like the character next to it it gives you the hint how to plant it okay like like this one next to it it will give you the hint how to plant it so for chinese character it's quite logic it's not like coming from nothing nothing okay mm. so next one this character right now if we don't add the water radical we add this radical do everyone know that what's this radical related to This radical is referred to what? It's quite easy. We have lots of this kind of radical too. Though. We have lots of this. It's quite basic. Uh, radical for beginner. It means person, right? It means person. Uh, yeah. So this radical is related to person. For example, uh, if you always see this character, you always know this character is nay, right? Nay. Why does he say joy? Uh, this one is not joy. Uh, this one is nay, right? Nay, you. Uh, we have this radical. Like koi. Koi. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to to use my writing board, writing pad. This one is koi, right? We also have this radical uh, related to human. Uh, that has a lot, a lot, a lot. So let's see this one. So here, if we change this radical into this yan radical 
Okay, this character plants what? Have you seen this character before? I give you a hint. That is uh maybe it's not so uh familiar for you because this one, if you have friends, you must know that that is our family name. Maybe if you have a Chinese friend, if their English, if if their family name is this one, Ho. Uh, actually, it's this character, Ho, Ho. Okay, so Ho is a family name, and also this Ho could be the meaning of for to, for question. Hmm, but it's very written way. For example, if we say Gacy, Gacy, it means when. Ah, if we in a rarely written way, we could say that is horsey, horsey, horsey. Okay, right now, let me show you a very um very typical kid song in Cantonese. Oh, you can see my screen, right? I'm not sure. Could you hear the, the sounds of my screen? Let me check first. If you could, mm, okay. No worrying, Shu. Yeah, you could go back to work. Thanks for your coming. Could you hear the sounds of the YouTube? I'm not sure. Let me hear. Mm, let me try to. Thanks for your coming. Oh, you could hear. Okay. So this this songs is a kid song. It's a very typical song. Oh, I I listen lots of this kind of song when I was a kid. So this song is called Ho Ga Gong Gai Ho Ga Cai. So here, si ho ga de bu zi do. So si actually in Cantonese is hai. So ho ga, ho ga. So this ho is not like Mr. Ho's family. No, this ho it means which. So which ga means family. So which family? De it means so whose families? Bu zi do it means um zi um zi do don't know. So right now they have four hundred, uh, guy chicken, and then is from which family we really don't know. Okay, that is this song's about. So ho ga gong gai ho ga cai. So ho ga, just now we say is which family gong gai gong gai. Do you know what's gong gai? If you look at the picture, you can guess. So, actually, for kid, for 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 chicken, we have two. We have the two types: is gong gai and mo gai. So, could you guess what's gong gai for? What's mo gai for? Do you know? Gong gai and mo gai. Do you know that? So gong gai gong and mo. So gong, uh, maybe you didn't see a lot, but mo you see a lot, right? Mo is like like our mo chan mo. It means mother. Ah,、uh, mo gai actually is the hand. So gong gai gong actually is for for um for for the gender. For the gender of the animal is gong, so the gender of animal we call is gong and na, gong and na. Okay, but na is very oral. Normally, you will see is mo. Ah,、uh, this one is very important because, you know, our Cantonese we love to eat chicken. So, um, for one of my course or for one of my lesson, I teach my student, uh, like which kinds of a chicken will, uh, how could we cook. Different kinds of cook, ah,、uh, different kinds of ah、uh, chicken, and at different age, we cook it in different way. Okay, so maybe in the future I will teach you. 
or if you want to know it, you will come to my lesson. I will teach you. So for this one, Gong Gai and Mo Gai is like that. Okay. So Gong Gai is rooster. Mo Gai is the hen. Is the hen Mo Gai. So here, Ho Ga Gong Gai, Ho Ga Cai. So whose uh whose rooster uh Ho Ga which uh which house Cai it means like Gu Cai is written for Gu Gu it means to guess. So whose rooster uh from who um which family just guess it. So ho ga mo gai. So which, uh, so also you could also guess, uh, is whose hands. Yeah, look at this picture. You find that hao zi go go hong xin sang. So here, uh, hao zi is like ma lao. Ma lao is oro, okay? Hao zi. Hao zi is our uh, monkey, right? Hao zi go go. Go go. Go go is uh, the brother. Hong xin sang. Xin sang, it means Mr. Hong. It's like Hong yan. Hong yan is our bear. Ah, chong shu mui mui ngau shuk shuk. Chong shu, so chong shu is our squirrel. Squirrel. Ah, mui mui is sister. Ngau is our cow. Shuk shuk, oh, it's ox as well. Shuk shuk, it means uncle. Okay, so. Okay, let's see this one. So, Wang Gao Ba Ba, Wang Gao is the yellow. Gao is our dog. The yellow dog, father. Uh. Yang Mama, Yang Mama is the mom of the Yang, is the goat or the sheep, it's okay. So, Loi Cai, Loi Cai. So, come to guess, come to guess. Okay, so that's basically how this uh, kid sounds like. So, um, if you want to learn can if you want to learn Chinese character in Cantonese, so you could try to listen more uh, songs in Cantonese because, um, the songs for us is more like like poetry. So those language there, those lyrics there, we were in written way. Uh, just I know nowadays maybe you say, oh, Gloria, no. Sometimes I hear the songs will have like all day, kai day inside. Okay, yeah, those kind of song normally is like the rap nowadays. Yes, we will use that. Okay, but in the past, like this kind of a classic song, we will use the written way. So. If your uh, Cantonese pronunciation is not that good, yeah, but you want to learn uh, how to recognize the character, you go to listen those Cantonese songs. And you, if you want to ask me to recommend to you, well, I want to. Right now, I'm so busy. But if you, if you come to our lesson, we will involve some song that is suitable for you to listen nowadays. Okay, so here. We just talk about this ho. Uh, normally you see these characters for ho sang, ho sang, Mr. Ho, Mr. Ho, okay? Oh, you have a question. I have a twins brother. How do I refer, refer to him? Since Go Go is older brother and Sai Lo is younger brother. Well, it depends. It depends your twins brother, he's younger than you or he's older than you. Yeah, but if he is older than you, you will call it like uh, Dai Lo. Mm, Dai Lo, or just say Go is okay. Go. Mm. Uh, normally, we don't say Go Go. We just say Go. A Go. A Go. If he is younger than you, you will call him like Sai Lo. It's okay. Mm. Dai Dai is a written way. Okay. Oh, so nice. Twins brother. I wish I will have, a, I will have some twins sister as well. But... But my sister is older, one year older than me. She hates me a lot. And I hate her as well. So, <laughs> okay. So let's see. Next one, we are talking about some character which use it in the context. Okay. So you will guess it from the context. So first, let's try to uh, watch a famous movie. Oh, let me try, try to uh, recommend you for this movie as well. Um, That is... This movie, 
is roach, right? Roach, roach. This one. This woman, she is Anita Mui, and this, uh, this guy, the actor is um Zhang Guoweng. Lastly, Zhang, have you heard this before? They are quite famous. Oh, and I love this movie a lot. I think it's quite classic, and you you should watch it. Yeah, it's so romantic. Yeah, I cry every time when I watch it. Okay, so now let's try to watch this one. So right now, this woman like Anita Mui, she was try to look for look at this picture. We will find that she is look for some, uh, feng shui. She wanted not tai feng shui. It's like xun xun man. It's go to some future telling the Chinese future teller. She want to ask for that. So let's listen that. Um, try to. Okay, let's listen one more time. So you will find that if you know a little bit Chinese character, you will find that they're not talking about what exactly they are talking about. So what you listen and what you can read on the subtitle is totally different. And First, I'm so sorry because that is what I could find online. Uh, that is the simplified character. Uh, so this one is the traditional character. So actually, first this guy would say like, um, If you learn, uh, if you watch my last live stream, and I do teach you about this bong chan. Bong chan is like the patron, right? So uh, lots of businessmen will ask you this one. Yang me bong chan is like, oh, how could I help you? Uh, can I help you? It's like this. Okay, so, but here, what we show is like, xiu zhe xu meng, are you going to let me to calculate your your fate? Uh, could, do you want me to future tell you? So it's like that. Chao. Uh, but we have this one, chao, right, chao. See, it didn't pronounce like jaw, it's like chaw. She said, so, so I want to tap, it means to uh, to test, to, yeah, to test. Tap, oh my god, how do you translate well? Ji, it means character. So she want to, uh, to, to, to guess a, so how do you say that? Okay, so first about this future teller, they will give you a uh, few, few counters there, then you can't see it, and you just pick one, and then they will have this character there, and then she, she he will ask you, she will tell you uh, what this character is about, and it's good things or bad things, so it's like that. Have everyone tried that? Actually, I didn't try that, because my mom told me that, oh, my mom will do that, but my dad don't allow me to 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 believe so much about this feng shui or uh, believe this kind of stuff, the future telling stuff. And I I don't want to, I don't want to like um spoiler be a spoiler about my future. So I I never try it. Oh, you want you wish you could speak Cantonese. Yeah, that would be great. That would be great. Yeah, watch more lots of my video, and then I hope it could help you some. Mm. So here, taxi is like this kind of procedures. So here, da xiu qin. So you will find that unless what once when we watch the movie, right? What you read is like da xiu qin. But just now, you hear what? You will hear she say. Let's try one more time. <laughs> So she said, So what you hear is or sorry, I, I have typo. It should be not right? It's mm. Okay, so this one is How much? How much? Mm. So these things is uh we will learn it for our lesson two or lesson three. Uh, about this 多少 and 钱, 嗯, 多少 and 钱. So 
yeah, so here I could tell you that、um, if you want to learn the characters, if you want to learn the characters, you have to read the subtitle, and also、uh, you could try to translate it into the oral way. So what you see is the written way. What you hear is the oral way. So in our class, in our cant,、uh, in our、uh, Chinese character course, we will teach you both. So because I know that not everyone would like to read, do reading in Cantonese, right? And not lots of people would like to watch the news and read the subtitle, right? So yeah. So we will also provide the oral speaking. So. Uh, for lots of my students, I have, I will, I have, I will request them to read the character, and then translate it into Cantonese oral for me. Like once they, when they see Da Xiu Qin, they have to uh tell me that means Gei Da Qin or Gei Qin for me.、Mm. Okay, so next one, actually Chinese are not. Uh, very difficult because it has the limited number, so I don't remember. Maybe Chinese we have ten thousand more or over ten thousand characters, just characters, okay? But we have different combination. So for uh our Chinese people, okay, normal people, you they could only know like three thousand uh Chinese character is okay. Okay, so you don't have to learn the rest, and as I say, even though you don't know the the rest of them, you will guess uh their meaning according to their radicals, and also you will guess how to pronounce it according is um is character less to it, right? Just now I told you it has the pronunciation clue, right? Okay, so about the limit number, and、um, because once when we learn one character, and then we could. Make them to combine into lots of a、uh, lots of words, so you don't have to worry that oh, I just learn one hundred characters after one level after one level course. No worries, you could still use it in lots of way. Okay, so for example, this one just now we say is gay a gay. Well, I really think that is very difficult because for for us simplify, we just write it like this, like this. It's quite easy. That is simplify. Ah,、uh, simplify for gay. Ah,、uh, okay. So this is gay. It means feel and also means how many. For example, these two. Just now we learned this character. If you don't know, this one is what. Is, is, yeah, right, yeah. So this one is gay, yeah, gay, yeah. Or, uh, that one is very oral. Or this one is teen, teen, teen. Also means like day. Okay, it means day. It doesn't mean like sun. Okay, it means day, and it means sky, sky. Okay, it means day or sky. Hmm. So 几日 or 几天 it means few days. Ah,、uh, 几日 or 几天 Hmm. So just now we learn 月 and 日月 It means month. Yeah, it means day. So now you must curious. So how about year? Okay, look at your calendar in Chinese. You will find that we have this character. This character. This character is nin. Okay, nin. So gay nin. Gay nin. It means few years. Gay nin. Ah, gay nin. Few years. Hmm. Uh, well, it depends on the context, okay? Because gay also means like how many year? Gay nin. Uh, yeah, we could also ask in the question. Okay, so what's more, we could also say like when is gay? Second one, c si. gay c、si. gay c.、Si. It means when. C.、Si. It means time. Gay c.、Si. It means which time. So it means when. Gay c.、Si. Hmm. That one is oral. Okay. All of them is oral. So here, gay shy, gay shy. Oh, these two character look so similar, right? Yeah, sometimes two characters look so similar, but you have to、um, look at it. So sometimes my student, maybe for me, I don't think they are familiar, but for them, they are, they think it's quite similar. So they they will 
they will be confusing. So I will help them put together and let them to uh, review it. To to I will help them to point it out and review it again. So this one is um, gay, so gay, so. Yes, I would say how many years. Yes, gaining also means how many year. Hello, Liko. Hello, Yiko. You're finally coming. I know it's quite late in in New York right now. Sorry, I should come early, but I have to make up. <laughs> so here is gay shoi. Gay shoi means how old? Ah, gay shoi. And then this one, another one. This char this character. The right one, the character, you will, you will feel like they have two. Think about it. There is like there is a two story. There is two floors. Okay. So this one is tall. Tall is tall is go right go. If you watch my video about basic, yeah, basic adjectives, you must learn this one. Gay go. So how tall? Gay go. Hmm. Gay go. Yeah. I think. I have already teach you this one. Gay go, gay gay go, gay show. Uh, if you go for a date, you can ask a person. You can ask your date about that. Yeah. So you'll find that even though you know a few characters, but once when you know more, they always could combine together and make some new characters. They have a lot, a lot. Okay. So if you would like to learn more about our Cantonese course, you will go to our. Um, Caningo.com. Uh, Sue will pro provide you for um, if you don't. So we have two kinds of plan. So uh, if you have time, oh, I should go to page first. Sorry, let me go to page first. So you will go to Caningo.com. And then we will have few course for you. So Sue normally will teach you about what level one to level two, uh, level one, level two, level three. If you don't have time to come to class because I live in Chinatown, right? Uh, maybe you are from Britain or what? And then you want to learn, learn. You love our material, but you don't have time. Then you could sign up for Sue's Sue's course because uh, she will just. Uh, give you the give you the material and also will have the schedule times there. If you don't have time to to go inside class and then you you don't have to come in. So it's like that. But if you come, so each course it will be uh like level lesson one to lesson five. It will be five course for each level. But if you come to my level, so uh it will be for example like lesson three, lesson four, lesson five. I teach the higher level. So if you come to my level, I will uh just teach you three lessons in 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 um let's see in two weeks. It eh, sorry in two months in two months. But um I will teach you more because we will include like uh three ebooks for each level as well. Okay, so and then I will teach you on the class. Uh, you have to come to the class all the time, uh, because I will do the course there. So it's like that. And yeah, so basically that is our course. Just browse our website. Um, so now if you still have time, you could continue to listen. If you, I know it's a little bit late right now. It's around like one hour live stream already. So if you still have time, you could stay. And you, if you don't have time to say goodbye and you could go to bed. And now I'm going to read this ebook with you. So that is the ebook that we use uh, on for our course, for my course. So for example, for each after Feel lesson after uh, we finish one lesson, I will give you an ebook, and then this ebook is uh, we will learn more from it, but we will um, help you to reveal what we learn as well. Okay, so let's see this ebook. Mm. So first, we must see these two character before. This is ngo ngo. I know some student maybe they will say, oh, this one looks like the zhao. Zhao, look for this Zhao. Look like this character. Oh my gosh, my my writing is not good right now. 
Yeah, look like this character, but this is Zhao. It means look for, look for. It's the written way for one, one. Uh, like uh, Zhao Peng, Zhao Nan Peng Yao. Uh, look for boyfriend. On oral is one Nan Peng Yao, one Nan Peng Yao. Okay, but this character, okay, don't mess them up. It means Ngo, we, I. So Ngo, this one Moon, Ngo Moon. It means we. Ah, uh, Ngo Moon. This one we never learn is Ban. Ban it means class. Ah, uh, Ban. Ah, Ban. Ngo Moon Ban. Our class. Our class. Hmm. Hmm. Guy. Ah. Half Hava. Ah, we have lots of students left. <laughs> I promise I will finish it quickly. Don't leave me. Okay, so here, so uh, just now we have already learned the second character, as this one. I guess you still remember this one. Is first, what's that mean? First, what's that mean? Anyone? Anyone? Do you know what this character mean? Hello, Gavin. Yeah, I'm here. It's Sunday. I'm here. I want to do this live stream as soon as possible, because uh, maybe after this last week, after last week, I I'm I'm planning to move out, so it would take me lots of time to do that. Anyone? Do anyone know this character? Just now, we just learned this character. You we can see that there's like two little people. They are what? They are on the. They are on the soil, right? So that is cho, right? Cho sit. So ngo cho, after level five, but after lesson five, you have learned this character already. This is dai, dai the first dai. And this one is look like our our this character, right? Is die this die? Yeah, this die is die die the brother one. Ah, they they sound similar. See, that's what I'm saying. Once then, do two characters look similar? The radical is different. Okay, they will sound similar. So that is die, and this is die as well. So Tai Yi, Tai Yi means the second, Tai Yi. If we say the first, Tai Yat, Tai Yat, hmm, sit. Yes, it means sit. So here, Ngo Cho Tai Yi. Okay, this character we never learn. This is Pai, Pai is row. Okay, Pai. So Ngo Cho Tai Yi Pai. So this, this girl she sit on the second row, right? Ngo Cho Tai Yi Pai. These two character, um, mm, is qin mean qin mean in front, in front, qin mean. You know some student they always forgot how to say how how to say in front. Okay, let me help you to associate this one. So qin is um qin the fourth tone is in front, right? Money is qin qin. Okay, so. So, uh, combine them together is qin min yao qin, qin min yao qin. So in front have money, okay. So help you to remember these two character. Ah,、uh, qin second tone, money, qin fourth tone, low tone. It means in front, okay. Qin min yao qin. So these two character is qin min. So qin min, Cho Dick Si Lisa Wu Lan. So war, this is war. War it means and it's like tone and oral. Okay, so I sit the second row. Qin min, in front, sit. So here Qin min cho dek si. So here we omit one more thing. It's Qin min cho dek. Let's say cho dek student or cho dek yan ah、uh, people. So it's the people that sit in front. Is Lisa and Lam. Hmm. Here we have the structure of the relative st、uh, structure. Uh, I guess I I remind it uh before. 
Okay, so we, we would just uh, translate it into the person that sit in front is Lisa and Len. Okay, so this one is this sentence. Mm. Okay, now let's see. Next one. Just now we say this one. Maybe once when it changed to another form, you forgot how to read it. Sometimes some students will have this problem. For, for English, same to me as well. So it's okay, just read more, okay? So this one is 我, 我. So 我, 我的, 我的 is in oral is 我的, 我的. Okay, next one is, just now we learned this one is so just now we talk about in front. Of course, according to this uh, very like kid, kid book, it's quite simple. It talk about like behind, right? Behind is this character, how, how mean. So 我的后面, which it means 我的后面. See him, see it means hi. So 我的后面, hi him. Written is 我的后面是Kim Okay, next one This character This character Could everyone tell me that was that mean, this character? What's this character about? What's get this character about? I'm waiting. Yeah, I mean she or her. Yes, very good. So you'll find that this this radical, okay? This radical is related to female. Female, okay? Like mom, this one is oh, I can't I can't write this character though. Okay, uh so this radical is related to mom. So if this character we change one we change is a uh, radical, it will be this ta this ta, both of them pronounce ta, but the meaning is different. This ta is referred to man, uh, uh, to, to him, okay, to the man, him, okay, him, he, uh, he, okay. So be cautious, this ta is she, and this ta is he or him, uh, it's different. Mm. So ta dek, what, ta dek, maybe you see this character before, tong. It means and in oral Cantonese, right? So here for uh, written, for written, it means together, do something together. Okay, so tong, cha, so cha, let's see this cha, okay? So this cha first, we will find that this character, it has uh, the this one, mo, under it. The mo is referred to the wood, the wood, okay? So tong, cha, cha actually means like desk, table. So tong cha is like, oh, we sit together. Sit together is uh, the table together. It means the desk make tong cha. Uh, for about the tong, we have a lot. If we learn together, for example, right now, if you come here, I'm your teacher, you guys learn together. So you are the classmate, right? That is tong ha, tong ha, ha. It means learn, tong ha. It means uh, learn together, classmate. Uh, it's classmate, tong ha. Mm. So, and what's more, if you work together, if you work together as well, if you are like the colleague, how can you say that, the colleague? Oh yeah, a little bit like lag. Okay, and we work together is tong c c. It means uh we work together. That's c. 
C means like Josie work. So Tong C is our co coworker. Is coworker Tong C. Okay. So here, 他的同桌，他的同桌是 Jack. So his, but her, sorry, her dad's mate is Jack. 我的后面是 Kim. 他的同桌是 Jack. Oral is 我嘅后面系 Kim. 佢嘅同桌系 Jack. Uh, do you still remember your tongue in the past? Maybe I just remember when I was uh in Xiuhe, Xiuhe Primary School, Xiuhe. My sister, 我家姐系我嘅同桌 for six year, 六年 <laughs> So my sister is my best friend. Maybe. Okay, so let's go ahead. So here, Kim. Kim, what? This character maybe you forgot, but just now we just learned this one, right? Just now we learned this one. Ho e, right? Ho e, it means can, can. So this is uh ho e. This is e, and also it plus e, e chin, e chin. It means before, before. So Kim, e chin de. What tong cha right classmate? Uh, sorry, desk mate, desk mate. Kim 以前的 desk mate 同桌是 Lily. So Kim 以前嘅 desk mate 系 Lily. Uh, Kim 以前 before. So Kim's former desk mate is Lily. This one. 可是。可是 is the written way for 但係但但係 so 但係 but Lily this one okay this one you will see that this character we see this one this character is like they have one square one square inside and one square outside as like a circle ah、uh, that's boy ah、uh, boy. You know, in Buddha, they have a、uh, something for lom wei. Lom wei is is like, for example, this life. If you are a good person, next life you will become a good person. But this life, if you change to, you want to come to、uh, a bad person, then next next life you will become a bad,、uh, worse person as well. You know, so it's like a circle for us. So here, so Lily Wei it means return. Okay, return, like this picture. It means return. So Lily Wei, just now we learned this one is Zhongguo. Zhongguo Liu Liu is like the past tense. Ah, Zhong. 可是 Lily 回中国了。嗯 ，so an oral is 但系 Lily 回 is like 翻 right 回家。回家 is 翻屋企 right? So, 但系 Lily 翻屋企唔翻中国啦。但系 Lily 翻中国啦啊，翻咗中国啦啊。Uh, so the past tense, okay? 翻咗中国。So, but Lily returned to China already. It's like that, okay? So that one is about this one. Next one. So let's learn this one. 我的 So we have to look for here. This one is 右 right, and this one is 边 side. 我的右边 my right side. 啊，我的右边是 Harry. 我嘅右边系 Harry. Okay. So 我的左邊是 Tony， 我嘅左邊係 Tony。Okay， so my left， my right side is Harry， my left side is Tony。Okay， so maybe you will curious。Okay， right now we have these two character here。So we have jaw and yaw。This one you you have to know it well because they look quite uh familiar。But for me， I will。How my students think in this way? If it didn't help you, 
Okay, just don't listen to me. Okay, if the, it didn't help you, because that is how I help my student. So, for example, let's see the right side, the right one, right? So it has the mouse under it. It has the mouse under it, right? So most people will use our right hand to to eat, right? We use the chopstick, use the spoon with our right hand. So our right hand is like our tools for for our mouse, right? For eat. So that's why the right one with the mouse on it. So the red one with the down here we will have a gong, right? We will have a gong. Gong it means like work. We will have a work. So according to science, we will say if someone uh we work, right? Our our left brain it will work fast, right? It's like our right our right brain, it will help us to uh, control about the feeling emotion like that right so the the left uh, brain it will help us to do the math problem to work okay so that's why that's what i'm thinking okay so the left we will have the gong have the work down there for the right is we will have the mouse with it i hope it helps you okay if it didn't help you just forget it forget it okay so that one is uh, left and right Bin, uh, bin, this character is very difficult for you to remember. Bin, it means side. Uh, so like, for example, like the beach, the beach is like the seaside. We say hoi bin, hoi bin, uh, hoi, sea, bin side. So the seaside, the beach is hoi bin, hoi bin. Mm. And just now we also learn like the river. So if the river side is ho bin, ho bin, mm. Okay, next one. 我们我们 Here, what's the number of it? I know some students, if you are quite beginner, you don't know this number. Maybe you think that is 9. 9 is this one. 九. Okay, oh, so ugly. Let me write it again. Maybe for some students, you will think it's like this. That is 九, okay? 9. This is not gao, it's seven. Chat, okay. 我们七, this one, go as the measure word, go, okay. 我们七个人, see, yeah, just now we learned this tong. Tong cha is that's made. So here, if we learn together, that is tong ha, tong ha, classmate. Uh, classmate. So, 我们七个人, see, tong ha. We, Seven people are um, classmates. So, 我们七个人是同学. Oral is 我们七个人是同学. Okay, next one. 也是好朋友. Oh, I didn't give you the rest of, um, of... I didn't give you the note for some because that this book is after you learn like lesson five then you could read this book, okay? So the the character I didn't show it here, it means you must know that after you learn the lesson lesson five, okay? So this one, ya si, ya, it means like also, also. Ya uh, in oral, it will be do. So ya si is do hai, do hai, do hai, this one, ho pang yao, ho pang yao. Yeah, look at this pang. Okay, Pang. Before just now, we learned this character is Yue Moon, right? If there is two moon together, that is the friend together, right? So Ho Pang Yao Ho it means good. So Pang Yao it means friends. So Ya Si Ho Pang Yao, um, Do Hai Ho Pang Yao. For the whole one for oral consciousness is 我哋七个人系同学，都系好朋友。we seven people are uh, classmates and also we are good friends okay so that is about here next one next page mm. so well we have lots of new vocabulary here first so 我们, we right this one 从, 从. you will find that here we will have lots of human here first this Radical is referred to lots of people as well. Okay, and then on here we will have uh, two people here, right? 
two more yan here. So this one is chong. Chong literally means literally it means like uh uh like follow somebody, follow somebody. Okay. But normally we will use it for the preposition. It means from, ah, uh, chong from. So ngomun chong we from this one. But but uh but is like not. It's like mm in oral. So mm tong different. Uh, but tong it means different. Oral is mm tong mm tong. So ngomun chong but tong here. Guoga guoga before we learn it. Guo it means country. Guoga is country. Ah, uh, guoga country. So here lai lai it means come. Lai it's like lay lay. Uh. On my last video, I teach about lay come. Ah, uh, this one is is written form for for come. It's lay, but lie, lie, lie is written. Okay, lay is for oral. So, 我们从不同国家来，都都 is to come to 这里，这里 it means here， 这里。这 literally means like this. 这里 here, okay. So 我们从不同国家来到这里 That's the written way. Other way is 我哋 You could say 从 or also say 由 is okay. So 我哋从唔同国家嚟到呢度这里 here. And oral is 呢度 So we From different country come to here, so we come to here from different countries. Okay, so that is the for the whole books reading. Okay, so that is about our class for today, and I hope you learn a lot from it. Oh, you have to go, and it is really helpful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You love it. So that is our class. Um. Again, if you would like to learn more and you want to learn, uh, the character and you don't know how to learn character from zero, okay? So you could go to our caningo dot com and check our course. And if you want to ask for more help for speaking, uh. Sorry for for the conversational conversational class, and then you could go to, um. Somewhere, okay. Go, go. I don't know. Contact me.、Uh, there is a lots of link everywhere. Okay, down on the uh description box as well. And then you could um contact me for the private lessons. I'm always re available. And what's more, please contact me because right now I rent a big house than before. It's it's expensive than right now, so I need to have more class. I need to work more. I will update for. The house things for you guys, and thanks for your watching. And good night, good evening. Okay, bye 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 bye, bye bye. Thanks for your watching. Thank you, thank you.